So you've got your Sportsman 1000 watt generator, and you're wondering, what can I do with it? We're going to take a couple look at some things and find out. We'll be using a good old kilowatt, see what kind of ratings we have. While this does have a nice cover, uh, pretty much blocks. So we're going to use this extension here. Got this thick extension cord here. We're going to be running it to the generator, which is sitting outside. You do not want to run that inside. Unfortunately, today's kind of a bad day. It's uh, 69 degrees in here. So I don't really need the heater, but in this case, let's say you need some heat. Can you power a heater? One of these diesel heaters, to be exact. Here we go. This thing must have a startup current. I don't know if it's in the air pump. Well, I, I would imagine that would be it. So there you have it. Minus my mistake at first, and the engine was a little underpowered, being under full choke. It's running as it should now. It's able to withstand the initial current and continue blowing from there, no problem. So yes, you can run one of these kerosene diesel jet fuel heaters. Let's take a look at something else. So you're getting in some of that last minute detailing, wiping everything down. It's coming out looking great. This is not. So you got everything looking great. It's just drip drying now, but you don't have any electricity and time is running out and you need to get this dried. So while you're waiting for it to dry, you're wondering, will some fans help? There's only one way to find out by finding out. All right, we're gonna go fan number one. We're gonna go full throttle. There it goes. Fan number two, full throttle. There it goes. Fan number three, full throttle. It's running away. So there you have it. You can run three fans full speed simultaneously. So I don't know, if you, uh, you weren't detailing and you needed a sudden air dry, this would be great for camping. Maybe you're not detailing, but your basement, you know, you need to get a lot of air in there, remove some of the moisture, anything like that. Well, here you go. Uh, maybe you need a little light. This is gonna be completely random. Let's throw in this light. Ah, operates the light, no problem as well. You can see what you are drying. The light only adds an additional 20 watts. So yeah, if you happen to be like detailing in the dark uh, and you need to quickly dry or anything like that, maybe you put a quick rattle can paint job on it, 
you just want it to dry really quick operate 20 watts of LED to show what you're looking at and three fans to dry it all off get that air all in there there's number two what you can do a lot of people want to know what you can operate in the kitchen with one of these generators so I've put together a couple things I'll show you got a large unit and a smaller unit so the generator is running extension cord ran inside Now I'm unable to pull out my big fridge because I've got a messed up shoulder and it hurts. However, I am able to move out the drink fridge, which we shall plug in and see how it goes. I unplugged the fridge about 30, 45 minutes ago. It's been warming up. Let's plug it in and see if we don't trip the breaker. And we're back on. So the compressor kicked on. It is getting cold again. Fifty-eight. So it's finally the big day. You want to clean up before you have some company over. But there's no available plugs. No matter what you do, you just can't find one. But you remember you've got your inverter generator running. Let's see if it can help you with vacuuming. Here goes nothing. And the sportsman generator has saved the day. You were able to clean the carpet, you can now have company over, and everything's going to go right. So thanks for stopping by and watching my video. Hopefully this gives you a mildly accurate representation of what you can expect from this little generator. The Sportsman Inverter Generator, 1000 watts, 800 running.